An area constable calling out the head of another constable's office, claiming he was racially profiled, pulled over on the Beltway while in uniform, driving an unmarked law enforcement vehicle. Channel 2's Michael Lapardi live in West Harris County and spoke with both constables tonight. Michael? Well, Dominique, the constable that was pulled over says that traffic stop went too far and was racially motivated, but the other constable called the stop almost textbook. Waller County Precinct 3 Constable Herschel Smith found himself in handcuffs after a traffic stop on Tuesday night. I know I was racially, I know I was racially profiled. Constable Smith says he was driving his unmarked unit on Beltway 8 with exempt plates and wearing his uniform when he was pulled over by deputies from Harris County Precinct 5. A white man saw me on the road after I flashed my light and passed him, then he in return called in on me and said that I pointed a gun at him. Precinct 5 Constable Ted Heap says deputies were responding to a 911 caller who provided Smith's license plate and description of his vehicle. We handled this just as we would handle this with any other individual. And I do not see anything so far from any of the, the body cameras or any of the tapes that I have seen that would bring me any concern. In the call, the man says he thought he was being pulled over by the police. He pulled up next to me and pointed the gun at me. It was like yelling stuff at me and throw off. The suspect's race was never mentioned. Uh, so our officers have no idea of who they're stopping as far as the race of the individual. They have a vehicle and they have a license plate. Constable Smith says he was stopped in a vicious way. They ignored my badge. They ignored my uniform. They ignored my name. It said constable. Now, Constable Heap says that when his deputies ran the plate on that vehicle, it came back as being registered to a holdings company, not the county, so they didn't know it was a law enforcement vehicle. He says he's okay with releasing the body camera footage of that stop, but he's waiting on guidance from Texas Rangers, who will now investigate the case. Reporting live, Michael Lopardi, KPRC, Channel 2 News.